In his latest speech in Coachella, California, Donald Trump delivered a series of controversial statements and questionable claims in front of a relatively small audience, despite his assertions otherwise. This speech, like many others, was filled with factual inaccuracies and inflammatory rhetoric that raised eyebrows. Before Trump even took the stage, the crowd faced extreme heat, with some people passing out due to 100-degree weather. Once on stage, Trump claimed that 100,000 people were in attendance, a statement that did not match the actual crowd size. Struggling with his delivery, Trump attempted to discuss inflation but stumbled over the word, deflate. He proceeded to threaten withholding emergency aid to California if the state didn't meet his demands, particularly in relation to forest fires. In another part of the speech, Trump falsely claimed that California experiences daily blackouts and brownouts. He then shifted to praise China and its authoritarian leader, Xi Jinping, calling him, brilliant, while also stating that the greatest threat to the U comes from within, specifically targeting political figures like Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff. Throughout the speech, Trump went on tangents, from calling former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie a fat pig, to mocking a heckler in the audience, telling her to go back to mommy. Trump also made bizarre references to historical figures like Abraham Lincoln, at one point addressing Lincoln directly in the crowd, while making incoherent comments about the current state of American leadership. Towards the end, Trump stated that the U.S. should reinstate the Alien Enemies Act to punish migrants who re-enter the country illegally, suggesting that the death penalty could be an option. This speech, characterized by hyperbole, misinformation, and incendiary comments, once again showcased Trump's confrontational and chaotic style. His claims and statements continue to be divisive, sparking widespread reactions from both his supporters and critics. Time will tell how this rhetoric influences the political landscape moving forward.